kid Don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get All right, randos, what's up? It is a weekday, it is a work day, work's over And uh, it's supposed to rain pretty much this whole week But as you can see that's some sunshine breaking through the clouds hitting me, and it hasn't rained at all today. So I'm going to take this chance to go outside and get a new camp thing set up. I decided to go ahead and order myself the Wolf Walker tent. For anyone who's not familiar with that, it is basically the Lone Rider tent that we see a lot of motovloggers use. But this specific one, the Wolf Walker, my good friend Rainy, Rainy Rider has. I've seen it in person. I've seen him use it a couple of times. It looks really nice. It looks very spacious. And it is a third of the cost of the Lone Rider. So I ordered that off Amazon. I got it with two-day shipping. Unfortunately, it's been nasty weather, so I haven't been able to set it up outside. But we're going to set it up today. I even got a camp chair. Because uh, I've never brought a chair camping. I've always just sat on the bike or threw a towel on the ground and sat on the towel. So, I'm kind of tired of that. And thanks to one of the more recent Her Two Wheels videos in the last couple months, I've learned that you're supposed to waterproof tents. I didn't know about that. So I got some waterproofing spray. That's the primary reason why we're going to set up the Wolf Walker tent, is so I can get it waterproofed. I'm going to take you along for that. And uh, hopefully it doesn't take long to get it set up and taken care of. So let's do that. So inside you have the stakes, the rods to give it shape. This is the outer layer. This I believe is the inside, the cabin part. So we don't need this at the moment. We do need the outer layer. Also my backyard's a mess. I don't wanna hear about it. Oh, but first, Quick walk around the backyard, make sure none of my neighbor's pets have come over and taken a dump in it because uh, I've been catching some of their pets doing that. So, from helping Rainy set up his at the Weirdos Assemble campsite, what I do know is that there's two red, one black. The two red go in the front, one black goes in the back. And that's all that really gives the tent its shape, between that and tying it out.
All right, so I'm aware you didn't get to see most of that, but we've got the front staked out. We're gonna stake the back down. Might as well stake the sides out. And I'll get the inside set up so we can get a video of that. All right, so we got it staked out all around. Realize that there is some adjustability down here so you can choose how you know wide and how tall it is because like this is a pretty decent sized gap and we can cinch it down a little bit obviously you can put stakes through here to help anchor this down so it doesn't move which it's kind of a windier day here so I probably should but not super concerned and then I didn't realize it but even on the back you can open it up so there's multiple uh, entry and exit points of the tent and I didn't notice it on rainies but here these when you open the doors you can actually uh, roll them up like this because on the inside you can use that tab to keep it open. Now, obviously I'm not a tall person. I'm about 5'9", five 5'10". Five That's about 9 inches from the tip of my thumb to the tip of my pinky. So, if you're weirdly tall like our good friend Loose Juice, you, uh, you might be rubbing your head in there or have to hunch down, but for someone my size, it's perfect. Now let's get the inner cabin area put in. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record that because I'm only one person and uh, I don't really have a good way to, to set you up in here. But I'm just going to put that up. If you want to see how to hang that up, go watch a Rainy Riders video. Alright, I take that back. I found kind of a janky way to hang you up literally off the tent. So you're going to be shaky, you're going to be wavy when the wind blows, but you should be able to see what I'm doing. So the one thing I do know about this thing is that it does have multiple entryways into the cabin and sleep area. Okay, we got it set up. It's got buckles in the front two and rear two corners. And it uses this peg and ring system so that the sleeping area hangs from the outer layer. And, uh, yeah, that's cool. I mean, I knew it already hung up that way and you can see into the sleeping area. It's uh, it's sizable. I'm not gonna go in there right now because I don't want to track muddy shoes in. 
but definitely get a tarp to lay under need all of this out here into the garage area could easily set a little table or something here to keep my stuff off the ground have it all out and about easy pockets to drop you know sunglasses and stuff into and these i'm gonna assume because i don't know how well you can see it there more ring systems so that it hangs open like this now let's go get the rebel and uh get the rebel pulled in So as we can see, the Rebel, ooh, would fit in here. Now, obviously, this would be probably rubbing up against the, uh, this would be rubbing up against the end of this sissy bar, but got a couple more inches I could pull this up and obviously turning the bars would help and got a kick plate underneath the kickstand because it has been uh, it's been rainy like I said for the last few days so the ground's pretty soft I could uh, feel the bike sink into the yard when I went through the front yard but I'm excited I'm really excited for this tent all right so we got the tent set up we proved the rebel fits Granted, I won't have the Rebel too much longer if all things go as planned. But now, let's get the camp chair set up and uh, give her a little test. Ooh. The bubbly wrap. Okay, I just got oh, I'm gonna be honest, most of those just kind of fell into place themselves. Huh. Oh, yeah, that is also meant to be loose. Good to know, good to know, good to know. So I'm going to assume you go like this. Jesus Christ in a handbasket. That thing has like no flex or give. These were very hard to get all slotted in. Lord Almighty. Like, I don't know if you can see that bend. I don't know if it's supposed to bend like that, but it does now. And now for the real test. Oh. 
I'm a little more reclined than I would actually like to be. I, I, I prefer to sit a little more upright in chairs, unless I want to like lean back and nap. But it's, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, but uh, that's gonna be it for this one. I'm not gonna show the waterproofing of the outer tent. Um, just go watch Jess's video. She did a good job explaining it. I'm gonna pull everything out of here except this. I'm gonna leave that hooked up. It's supposed to make it easier for putting it, you know, up every time and save you a couple minutes and I'm lazy. It should pack down just fine. But, thanks for watching. Love and appreciate you all. I can't wait to see everybody in the next one.